the John Jay class of 2022. My name's Lakima, and this is my roommate, Emily. Hi. We're going to give you a room tour today, but first, a little bit about us. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And we live in a walkthrough double in John Jay. John Jay is primarily made up of singles with a few doubles on each floor. We have a pretty unique setup, so I'm excited to show it off. Hey guys, um, welcome again. So this is our walkthrough double. Basically, the way that walkthrough doubles are set up in John Jay um, is there are two singles with an adjoining door, only one of which actually connects to the hall. So there are a couple different ways to manage the space. A lot of people choose um, to treat them like two single units. So each person has their bed and their desk in their room um, and they're just connected. But we decided to set ours up a little bit differently. Um, so we have both of our desks and kind of our fridge and like our community space in here. And then in the other room, we have our dressers and our beds. So that's like where we sleep. I think it's really nice because we have one room for sleeping and like chilling and relaxing. And then we have the study room where people love to come and hang out. Exhibit A. Hey. This is our friend up? Anthony. <laughs> Tell them a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Anthony. I don't live in John Jay. I live in Hartley. Another great place to live as a first year. Um, and I'm from Fresno, California. Go California. <laughs> go West Coast. Um, uh, thanks. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you reading? I am uh, reading for Lit Hum. Don't keep up day. <laughs> we love Lit Hum. Okay, so every Columbia room comes with a desk, a closet, and a bed. And since we put both our desks in this room, I'm going to show you guys my side of the room. First, we'll start off with Columbia's commitment to the environment. So as you can see, here we have three different trash cans, but they're not all trash. So the black one is for your normal everyday trash. Blue is for plastics, and green is on to my desk. Um, it's a pretty normal setup to have my computer, mirror, fun, fun things. I mainly just have pictures from home and different memorabilia up here. I've actually started a little button collection, so whenever I go anywhere, I try and like collect the new. <laughs> <laughs> I try and collect the new button, <laughs> and I started to put them up here. I also like to keep candy for anybody who wants candy. Um, up top, I just have more random things. Um, also, the desk come with three different drawers. You can fill them however you'd like. I usually I keep like school supplies, toiletries, hair supplies, all the types of things. Those types of things in this drawer. And there's also, if you look under, <laughs> we see books. So as you know, every first year in Columbia has to take literature humanities, and it's a lot of reading. So when you run out of space up here, don't take for granted the space down here. Also, if we move on. Um, we can see our mini fridge. So this is Phyllis. We named her Phyllis because she's beautiful. Um, a mini fridge that we got from the Green Cell, which is happened at the beginning of every year, and it's run by our club called Eco Reps. And Eco Reps is Columbia's environmental sustainability club on campus. And at the end of the year, they sell gently used appliances, um, mostly mini fridges, but also books, lamps, hangers, basically anything for this kind of price. Um, and we just keep up our little like tea station to be honest with you it's just teas up here <laughs> um and then over here teas <laughs> just a lot of tea but yeah it's really nice to have this little like almost like a kitchen area like a pantry spot kind of to keep any food um that we might have and then as far as my walls go they're kind of boring but i do have these cute bulletin boards here where i keep some memorabilia that i've been collecting throughout the year so it's just nice kind of spices up the room. And also, if you look over on this wall, we have our whiteboard. And it's honestly one of my favorite parts of the room because it's the most interactive. People will come in all the time, as you saw earlier, our friend Anthony was here. People will come and sit and hang out and they'll leave us messages on the board or we'll write inspirational messages or we'll write things that we need to do so we don't forget. We'll hang papers and flyers we want to remember. Oh my God, who could that be? <laughs> Hi! Oh my god, what it's Shirley! Going on? <laughs> We're filming our video for housing. <laughs> Say hi, Shirley! Hi! What do you like about John Jay? I think it's a lovely place where you can live and make friends with people you live next to. Yes, this is Shirley. She lives on the floor. She's in a single. Her, her room is great. We might actually get to see it later. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you guys on a little tour uh, around my half of the room and into the living space. First of all, we have our third roommate, Gertrude, Gertie, Gert, Trudy. 
She's amazing. We love her. She makes the space. Um, we also have our cute little ornaments up there. Those are actually from our Christmas tree clearance. Um, and that was really fun. It's just kind of a cool example of one of the ways that we were able to make the space our own um, and celebrate the holidays um, in our own way and just kind of build that sense of community. So I think that's one of the best parts about living in the dorm is really getting to like create your own home environment, whatever that looks like for you. Um, so over here I have my desk. I have more stuff posted on the wall up there just that I can look at while I'm doing work. Um, I use this for a lot of different things. I do my work here a lot of the time uh, as opposed to studying in the library, but I also have my mirror and all my makeup is in this little box here. Um, I have all my different like cosmetics, hairbrush and whatever in this drawer. And then I keep all of my different like cold medicines and, and different stuff in this medicine box here first aid stuff and then I have boxes for just like extra toothbrushes and all those essentials um, that I keep around and then I have my different books, photos, speakers, tissues, other things all up on my bookshelves um, and then in, in these drawers I keep uh, electronics, extra office supplies and I actually keep some of my sweatpants and sweatshirts in this bottom drawer just as a good way to maximize clothing storage. So this is my wardrobe. Um, in most of the walkthrough doubles, there's only one built-in closet. So I decided to take the standing wardrobe and Nikima got the built-in. Um, but this is still really nice and there's plenty of room for all my clothes in here. All of the closets and wardrobes come with a full-length mirror um, inside the door, which is really handy. So I have plenty of room for everything that I need to hang um, or put on the shelf up here. I keep my sweaters up top and my shoes in this door at the bottom. Um, so this is really nice. And then we have our scarves here that we love. So you guys can come in to the back room uh, this is where we sleep. So this is my bed and my area. These are all photos and posters of my friends and family and different art that I've done. Um, some of that's there. So this is just a really cool way for me, I think, to again, like create that sense of home um, and very much personalize this space. Um, so Nakima and I both have our beds lofted up pretty high so that we can fit our um, drawers, our dressers for t-shirts, socks, whatever you want to keep folded. Um, and also we both have sets of boxes here um, that we use for snacks and laundry supplies and all kinds of stuff um, and our laundry baskets. And I actually keep my luggage back there as well so there's a lot of storage to be had underneath and behind the beds so it's my turn as you can see i'm much more of a minimalist than emily but it's all good so this is my bed same exact bed um and something else to mention a bit more of like more of the hardware of the room is that the bed is adjustable up to 36 inches high i think and it can go actually as low as down here so you can make it as low or as high as you want we both put our beds at the highest setting because then you can fit your dressers under them. And so the dressers are pretty self-explanatory. They have three drawers, one, two, and three. And at, like Emily said, you can just keep extra t-shirts, socks, whatever else in there that you wouldn't put, normally put in your closet. And then I have my laundry basket, fun stuff. And then I also keep baskets under here um, that have like laundry stuff, uh, dishwashing, so first aid kit, all the extra things that you just need somewhere to put. Also, I also have my book bag here and then like my shelf of miscellaneous items. Who knows what's there? I don't. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have like a little nightstand. Um, and then this is the other closet in the space and it's just, it's built into the wall and most singles in John Jay do have um, the built-in closet as opposed to like the standing wardrobe. So this is what you'd expect in like any John Jay single and you just have you also have a mirror, and then you know, regular closet space with also another shelf up top to put other things, so it's nice. Um, yeah, so that's our room. Hey, 
Okay, so now we're in John Jay Lounge. Now we're talk I'm going to talk a little bit about the culture in John Jay um, beyond just the room. So, like I said before, John Jay is a building mostly made up of singles and then a few doubles on each floor. There's about 40 ish people on each floor. Um, and the really nice thing about that is that you have the opportunity to live in a single as a first year in college, which is something really unique to Columbia. Um, and you have the opportunity to have your own private space without like having to force a roommate into that. And you know, it's really good during your first year of college to kind of be able to collect in that private space. That being said, John Jay is far from isolated, far from antisocial. We love to talk here. So with everybody being in a single and being, you know, new to Columbia, it really inspired people to come out of their rooms and like meet new people. Because there's a lot to learn from these people. Um, so people always come into the lounge here. You can see we have a TV, whiteboard, microwave, all those fun things. Um, so people love to come in here and study, hang out, watch movies, and all those fun things. But also, you can always just go into each other's rooms and like hang out for a couple hours if you want to do homework, chat about life, all those fun things. Um, so as you can see in the past hour or so it took us to make this video, we already had three people come in our room. So that's one of the really nice things about John Jay, is that it's a very social community, but you still have the opportunity to be in that private space if you want it. So, I think that's gonna end our room tour for today. I hope you all enjoyed getting a glimpse of what Columbia life is like as a first year. And go class 2022, come to Columbia, it's great! Yeah. Mm -hmm. is that, is this no. Okay. You're what mug? I'm Mr. Rogers mug. Okay, go. Represent. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Come to Georgia. <laughs>